السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلاۃ وسلام اشرف المبیا ولمرسلی نبی نے محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈیئر برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز ویلکم ٹو انسپائر بائی اسلام اینڈ ماشاء اللہ وی ہیو اے امیزنگ گیسٹ فار یو ٹو نائٹ وی ہیو برادر عیسا ہی از فرام چائنا اینڈ ہیز اے اسٹوڈنٹ ہیز ڈوئنگ ہیز فائنینس ڈگری اینڈ کنیمن یونیورسٹی اینڈ ماشاء اللہ ہی ڈن ہیز شارا ٹو ویکس اگو So let's, without any delay, let's go to Brother Isa. Isa, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Islam. Thank you, Brother. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you, Brother. And um, it's a uh, 1.5 billion big family of yours now, MashaAllah. Yes. Um, tell us about yourself, your um, actual name, your old name, and um, what do you do? My name is Xuan Yang. Um, my hometown is China. And I'm a student in Queen Mary studying the, the finance, yeah. And the reason is that I'm also a student buster in my apartment, so the main job is to allocate the resources and, and create a link with the resident and with my supervisor. MashaAllah, yeah. MashaAllah. Firstly, I want to, um, I was there when you took your Shahada in, in ah, the Islam Mosque, mashallah. mashallah. Many, many people were there. There were a long queue trying to go and hug you. That's a normal I mean, thing we do, actually. We welcome brothers. Um, after your Shahada, how was it for you? Because, you know, it's, it's a big step towards, we believe, uh, towards salvation. That's what we believe. Uh, you believe in a creator, you worship him, and that's the purpose we are creating. Um, how was it for you? How did you want to, or how did you decide to take Shahada? Why and why? The first time, um my supervisor told me that my my name is not so cool because Yam is so normal. We have so many Yam in our apartment. Okay. Then I asked him to give me an Islamic name. He gave me several, but I said it's not cool. But as he said that, what about Isa? Then I adopted Isa as a name because the name listen is, is so great and it's very short, but it sounds very powerful and also have some meaning of witness. And then when I'm back, I searched the name, the meaning behind the Isa, and actually I found it's actually our second prophet in Islamic culture and our second big brother. Second yeah. last of prophet. Yeah. Second last of prophet, yeah. So, and wh when I adopt the name of Isa, then I actually feel some burden on my shoulders, the right? I think it's actually on the right. So, so after that, I think that it's time for me to carry the burden that which y you Isa used to carry. I'm, I'm not one to, and I don't think that I can be the same person like him, but at least I want to do something for my people, yeah. That's brilliant. Have you studied about, um, um, about Isa alayhi salam? Have you studied how he was born, what was his yes, uh, purpose of yes. life, how he uh, conducted with the people? I'm talking about the Muslim side of it. So our friends in this country, so a lot of uh, Christian friends, yeah. so they see Isa alayhi salam as Jesus. But in their faith, he is God, in their faith. We disagree, but for us, we love him, we respect him, we actually follow his teachings. I remember when I was in a, um, for study leave, I went for it, and I lived in, in a very remote village, I wanted to study, and they were teaching me about Isa alayhi salam. That's what I learned. He was very simple lifestyle he had, he had a comb, he had a car, you know, very simple lifestyle. And he was very de devoted. Uh, um, we say Muslim because he was submitted to the Creator. Yeah. So there's two things you have. I'm sure you studied. Um, when we say you, your name actually helped you to search for Islam. Yeah. And also you also uh, you're a student of finance, and that's also made some contribution towards your decision making. How did that make a contribution towards your decision making when by finance? Of Islamic finance. Yeah, actually, it's like more economic part, but finance is okay because they always have some linkage, right? So, so basically, we're talking about the financial crisis. Everyone talking about financial crisis in our department. So, what's happened before the financial crisis? People hold the view that um, market capitalism is always the best because they, they can allocate the resources more efficiently. However, people raise the question: How and by what standard? We do not have a proper standard for how can the market allocate resources in a society. So this is the biggest question. 
and 2008 the crisis showed that it's actually for the credit and asset bubble that creating the market and it shows the imbalance and the mismatch of the market reality and regulation so this is um, the main reason and the cause uh, and and, and the reason that why the financial crisis happened in Western country, and then people shift their eyesight to the to China because people think that the the market socially is more safer because during the financial crisis Chinese still have a uh, or experience a positive economic growth in the f um, in in a few time. However, in ten years ten years pass until now, the Chinese bubble for the asset is still increasing. Therefore. Um, I think it's a good chance for us to look at a different kind of culture system, at least the economic system. What about Muslim? What about Islamic culture? Islamic culture for a thousand years, they are still st have a very stable and soundness growth because they do not go for any risk shifting and people bear the risk in the same time. So that's why even though people suffer, I mean, the financial crisis happened, the uh, Muslim culture is, is an Islamic system. I still have a very stable booming because. No, that's yeah, true. Yeah. So yeah. Islamic uh, finance um, is more like um, both sides takes the risk yeah. and and enjoy the uh, the success as well. That's why it's so like it's more yeah. cooperative yeah. style. So nobody becomes a very much a rich, and other become poor. No, it, it, you take it's a, with yeah, it's like short and narrow as a gap between force for e inequality. And make the society, the resources become more equal, more balanced. Brilliant. Yeah. So, at the moment, what, what kind of study are you doing? I mean, uh, I know you're f just two weeks you became uh, Daniel Shaharas. What kind of stuff are you reading? And uh, um, does it make sense to you? Um, is anyone helping you in that process? In the process, right. The first is study for the Islamic economic because it's my major, I like it. And second, sometimes I read the Quran. Mashallah. I must say, Quran is pretty hard. It's really hard for me to understand. But when I feel tired for my study, then I just read the book, two pages, close, and then feel peace and continue my study. So the balance between, I mean, the study for the for my major and study for the cool land, I think perfect. Yeah. How is the uh, Muslim community actually accepted you? Oh. Or is it <coughs> they, are they welcoming? Did they uh, invite you into the house? So how is it going? Because it's um, in the beginning, it's very good. Honestly, it's then. You, you make your own friend because without someone guiding somebody towards especially understanding Islam is sometimes it's quite difficult for yourself to just do it yourself because you are still a student yeah, in, that, yeah. in, in, in that field. Yeah, um, actually I haven't been to other Muslims house and okay. so I'm really shameful. However, I mean because just gradually study and gradually practice, I think that one day I can be invited to other Muslims house, hopefully. No, no, okay, I, okay. <laughs> I officially invite you to my house. No, okay, okay, we'll be fine. <laughs> okay. That's a very tiny room, yeah. <laughs> 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 Mashallah. Okay, my Akhi, um, when you make your, uh, does your parents know you're Muslim? How did they take it? Did, um, were they surprised or are they okay? They are surprised, but, but I mean, my parents, they also come from a background for multiculture. So, I mean, gradually, I hope that they can be honored for me. I mean, oh, they mashallah. can feel proud, yeah. Alhamdulillah, that's good. So I'm sure you're making lots of dua for them. Hope so. Yeah. Thank you. Before you became Muslim, mm -hmm. if I could ask you your lifestyle. Lifestyle. How was it? And now you became Muslim. Now your lifestyle has to change now. A lot of things you can't do. So tell me before, how was your lifestyle before? Did you used to go to nightclub? Were you drinking? Were you uh, gambling? Were you doing this kind of stuff? Womanizing, anything? Were you in that line? Mm, or before no? I joined Muslim, I'm still be a very good student. So <laughs> okay. I do not drink a lot. I don't like the pig. I like the lamb. Perfect. And also, I do not go to the nightclub. Perfect. Have you been there before? No. Okay, so you actually born Muslim. <laughs> well, we believe yeah. we, we were. Okay, good. So, uh, but, uh, but but before 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 I become a Muslim, so actually I drink a little, but not too much. But after after I adopt Muslim. I have an Islamic culture, so I do not drink at all. And wow. more self-discipline, and it made me more rational. Because if you drink, even though a little, it, it will still make your mind is out of control. So that's why um, it's more healthy lifestyle. MashaAllah. Yeah. Are you married? No. Not yet. Are you looking for, are you, we, of course, you, we, we want uh, everyone to get married. Are you looking for a wife? So now you got a difficult question now, right? Yeah. Okay. 
So what you're looking into, if you're, um, uh, if you're looking for a wife, we say wife because it's more legal, yeah. you've got responsibility. You know, it's easy to go out with somebody and have babies and just left out yeah. your partners. But in Islam, we say no, you have to be proper done. Yeah. If you're, if you're the father, you look after yeah, them. It's you know, a duty. It's, it's, a lot of it's, things. it's a journey yeah. for long. It's not yeah. a joke. It's not about me and oh, uh, the partner. It's about there's someone coming after that. Yeah, you know? it's, it's kind of moral conduct. Yeah, you Definitely. Have to yeah. So what kind of things you're looking for in the woman now? Or uh, whoever's going to be your wife, inshallah. Uh, at first you she, never know she's looking. Yeah, I, she has to be very kind, right? And beautiful. Actually, I have seen. Yeah, 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 beautiful, yes. Why not? Yeah, 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 that's cool. That's, that, that's allowed. Mm. So first thing in yeah. Islam, we look for faith. Is faith, she, yeah. is she, uh, does she um, practice, is she practicing? Yeah. Does she believe in the Creator? Yeah. Because if, if someone doesn't care about the Creator, he would, she would not care about we think, or he, that won't care about the creation. Yeah. There's no accountability here. Yeah. So, and even in, in, in the homely environment, if both of them are faithful or, or or, uh, then it, it makes things easy. We're not saying it's not easy, but it's, it makes things easy actually. So we look for faith, and then we look for looks, and we look for um, the rest of them. Is, it follows, inshallah. Yeah, all the good things actually. Yeah. Okay, sir. Um, in China, mm -hmm. they are a global power. They they are they're doing amazing stuff. First thing, they're doing a lot of lot of good stuff. They don't get involved with anything uh, outside China. But there are lots of Muslims there too, you know. Have you ever had a Muslim friend in China? No. Never. Would you like to meet them now, just to know how they are? Why not? That would be very good. Yeah. Okay. So when I'm back to China, I will definitely go to the mosque, yeah. Okay, do, 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 uh, have you seen a mosque in China? Before? Yes. They do have a very fancy mosque, but not a lot. So, but um, in my hometown, I think we do have several mosques. In the city oh, center, really? actually. That's yeah. great. Actually, in the city center, yeah. Okay, so which part of the China most of the Muslims are lives in? Oh, I think it's from the northern part. Northern part. Yeah. Okay, I just don't want your opinion, but I'm just saying we see a lot of things in the newspapers nowadays. Yeah, yeah. The Muslims being encamped, like in millions, not just one, more than millions in a camp, and they are being taught how to. Um, some people are saying around the finger that they have been taught to leave Islam and they have been taught to control. And um, so we live in the UK. I love this country because the reason is here you've got freedom of choice. You know, you, you are free, like your equality is really, really nice. You, you have a fair equal uh, um, laws and orders and everything, you name them. And you have a choice. You choose to do something, you do it. But in lots of those countries, from Asian countries, like I'm from Bangladesh and in other places in that part of the thingy, it's very difficult to express yourself. It's difficult. So we, we pray for those Muslims who are under uh, um, in, in that steam. May Allah make easy for them and, yeah, and, and make easy for you because you took a big thing in your shoulder that you're a Muslim by name, not my name, by practice. And people who ask questions, this is something new for them. When you done the Shahada, after the Shahada, what improved? What changed? I'm more rational. So when people ask me or invite me to do a drink, even though they are very, very close friend to me, I still refuse. It's not because I, um, I adopt Muslim, but actually it's that I want to follow the path from, from, from our Prophet, because our tradition, our religion, us do not drink. Because you drink, you cannot maintain yourself, and also. When I adopt Muslim, I feel that I'm more, I have more self-discipline because I adopt only one God. One can create the harmonize. Because if you went, went to a restaurant with a friend, then sometimes you argue, which kind of food you will take? Bangladesh curry, chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, or maybe the rogan josh. But one, you make your own choice. One is more rational. So if someone asks you, why does it have to be one? Why can I be more? Because you see the thousands of religions. Yeah. People are worshipping him and people are worshipping trees, anything else. Um, also, in Christian, they, they, they worship Trinity or they believe in one God, actually. But why does it have to be one, though? Why does it have to be one? Because one creates a harmonized. Because only one, if, if there's two, 
if there are two different religion and because the people they have different personality, different people they will always argue with each other. But if there is only one religion, one belief, and people won't argue, there won't be any conflict in the world. Yeah, I think in the Quran also says, you know, he declares, uh, God declares, uh, say I'm one yeah. and only. And if you had two, he says the reason, if you had two, it would have been conflict. True. So imagine um, um, if, if two gods are there, imagine just for example, and they wanted, um, somebody wanted a blue sky and somebody wanted a green sky. <laughs> we're talking about billion years, and we're talking about just for minutes. So what color is the thing is going to be? So someone have to compromise. So yeah. God, does, don't, he, he knows the future, past and everything. So for him to change mind, it doesn't happen. So he said, because if he claimed he's one, and then we believe he's one, and if you look into the uh, Abrahamic faith, he's always one. He's always one. Yeah. Um, if um, I had lots of people actually uh, in my show as well that um, before they done the Shahada or after the Shahada, they have a lot of amazing dreams. They have a spiritual lift. Do you get, do you see nice dreams? Do you see any amazing dreams that you haven't seen it before? that people were inspired by that? Actually, uh, my grandma, she is very sick for uh, this day. And the doctor, I mean, she is in China. The doctor said that she cannot... May Allah give her Shifa, yeah. we pray for her. Yeah, so she cannot, okay. um, I mean, survive for a long time. I mean, maybe the end of this month. And my dad said that my grandma, had, she did not wake for about four days. Um, but then I start to, fall, to worry because it's like my grandma, she do not wake and she is still lying in the hospital. But as a night when I take Shahada, I, my, my grandma appeared in my dream and she, t she told me and she asked me, are you okay? I say, I'm okay. So what about you? And she told me, I'm okay as well. So just continue your study. So wow. I, I pray to Allah, so at least let me to see the last face of my, my grandma and Allah permit. And then she come to my dream, and then we talk something. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Beautiful, my brother. Yeah. It probably yeah. is the last last time I talk with my grandma, but at least I know that she is still with me, and at least I know that Allah is on my side, and she, she, she uh, and Allah, Allah support me to have the connection with my people. So I'm really proud for for this, even though it is a hard time for me. But now I'm not lonely. Yeah. You know, may Allah bless you, my brother. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And the way you care about your grandmother as well, mashallah. Um, some people, when, when they, um, especially other Isa, Italian Isa we're talking about. Italian Isa, yeah. Before his Shahada, he used to see some signs. Yeah. Um, one of the signs was um, unusual cat. Unusual cat. Unusual cat. Yeah. And... Um, that cat actually showed him to go to, uh, to the Shahada. That's mm -hmm. what he told me. He said he helped me to make my uh, judgment. Because I've seen that cat a few times. And he somehow he guides me to go there. You know, he somehow he showed. So did you have anything in that sign that God is trying to guide you to, uh, to Islam? Anything comes into your head, unusual, anything. Unusual? Ah, yes. Because I'm a student ambassador in my, in my apartment, so normally I'm, my job is to hold the event. But one event is called Punjabi Night. But actually we are using Islamic music. But when I, hear the, when I listen to the Islam music, I feel it's so charming. Although I do not know what they are saying, but uh, my supervisor told me, but here is Bangladesh, he, he is also very good Muslim people. So he told me this talking about the peace and love. I enjoy the music, I sing that such fantastic music and so many friendly people, brother, they are on the street and they always invite me to to enjoy the good dishes and also the brotherhood, the, the atmosphere is so good, that's why I'm actually it's like the humans, they guide me to the Eastern Mosque to do my Shahada. Before you, um, now you're a Muslim, yeah. you have a, now you know your purpose. Um, your purpose is to bring people towards the Creator and uh, to the salvation. And if we don't do this duty, it's like I'm, I'm selfish and uh, um, I'm, I'm going against the will of God. 
he wants us to give dawah to others and bring them yeah. to the peace. Um, people usually mix uh, uh, um, criminal laws um, and social laws in Islam and they mix it up. So they usually talk about criminal laws all the time and you know, hudud and everything else. But if you look in the whole picture, if you read Quran or on, on the life of the Prophet, um, you will find there is a direction we're going towards is um, the last salvation, yeah. everlasting life. We yeah. believe there's everlasting life after death. Um, so how would you want to take this good news to others? What's your, um, do you have any planning? Do you have any ambitions or dreams? Action is always better than saying. So the time I adopt the name of Isa, the time I choose to do the same things as our prophet. And so I, um, I'm more self-motivation. I inspire myself to give the help and without any reward. And I think my effort do have a lot of payback because I see people smile. Their smile is my best reward for, for my work, for my effort. And this is what we do, I mean, the Muslim, to show them that we are friendly and we are also ready to help for everyone who need the help indeed. Yeah. Imagine you're the last person in the world. Imagine, just yeah, imagine, for, uh, imagine yeah. you're the last, not last person, <coughs> you are the, you're the last Muslim in the world. Yeah. Imagine, just for example, what would you be your ambition? ambition? Because you could see millions of people not being guided. Yeah. Then they are worshipping themselves, they're worshipping their um, wheels, and they're doing everything wrong according to Islamic faith, I'm saying. So as, as a, a human being, as a moral human being, it's our duty to tell them, look, this is wrong. So if you're the last person, what would you do? Last person? Well, I would say, if I'm the last person, then I say, Allah do. No, no, you're the yeah, last yeah, Muslim. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. It's okay, like okay. Yeah, a last Muslim. So uh, in that case, well, Allah will have a lot of time to, to listen to <laughs> me, right? Okay. But also, my job, if, if I'm truly the last Muslim in the world, then my duty is to rebuild the brotherhood. Subhanallah. May Allah bless you, brother. Yeah. Um, we had an amazing time with you, especially oh, I enjoyed it. It's yeah, thank really you. interesting to know things, how you feel, because only two weeks you just came into Islam. Yeah. And the way you're talking to me is really um, peaceful. You know, like you, I can see you're happy inside. Thank you. And the confidence in, 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 in tawakkul in Allah is, 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 is shining through, through you, honestly. The way you talked about your, uh, um, your grandma and you said you got in your side, this is amazing. Yes, thank you. You know, because you are in a pattern of peace. That's, 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 that's the last thing, actually. So in Islam, we say Islam is a way of lifestyle. It guides you into every, every field. And in that field, it has to be two things, Quran and the Hadith, the way of the Prophet. He's a practical example to us. Yes. And it's always uh, uh, one of the things is, we need, let's see the thing holistically, then you'll make sense, not just pick and choose. What we see around the world, uh, like terrorism and extremism, they're pick and choosing things, and they, there are lots of hate. Yes, yeah, they, they pick the things that they like, and they, and they, they destroy the things that they should have. So people, a lot of people, they do not have self-discipline. That's why I feel so shameful. You've got a few yeah. seconds to say something to our viewers. Your last, oh. your last uh, word, just a few minutes. A sure. uh, few, about 50 seconds. <coughs> so, um, assalamu alaikum, brother, sister, and mm, hope you enjoy our interview. And also, I hope that other people they can come to to our culture and truly know what is a, a good Muslim. And we have to behave good and show the good effort to others. Therefore, people will not be um, controlled by the misleading information from social media. And I do hope that everyone see you can have a good day and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Yeah. Dear brothers and sisters, um, this was a really, for me, a, a amazing time with Isa. Um, we just done Shahada two weeks ago. But the way he's speaking about the Islam and the Creator, and the humanity, it's, it's, it's amazing. Most of us probably born, in, born as a Muslim, but probably don't have the same confidence or same value he's showing about Islam. And I think we need more brothers like him coming out and talking about it because he shows the beauty and the love for the humanity is so important. That's what the Islam actually throbs or pushes towards. Um, 
at the moment we don't have much time inshallah make dua for us and make dua for the show so we can spread love and peace towards the humanity inshallah if we said anything wrong please do forgive us i'll see you next week wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh